guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today I am bringing you this super bronzy gold fun fall look. Um, it's been starting to get a lot cooler here, so I was really inspired and wanted to play with some really warm tones. Um, this is a super versatile look. It looks good on pretty much any skin tone. It's really easy to achieve. This video is actually going to be a little different for me because I decided to do a voiceover. Um, just because I want it to be a quick video, um, I find sometimes when I'm doing it in real time, I tend to drone on quick. If you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look, then go ahead and just keep watching. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is prime our face and I'm taking my Farsali 24 karat gold drops and I'm just gonna grab a few of these and place them on my cheeks and on my forehead. Now I'm just gonna rub it into my skin and make sure it's absorbed really nicely and just spread it around as an even layer. For foundation, I'm actually going in with two shades and this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It looks so good in photos and it's one of my favorite drugstore foundations since it's so full coverage. Um, I'm taking a really light shade and then a much darker shade and I'm actually going to be combining these two because I'm in between a self tan right now and I'm going to be applying this all over my face with just a kind of liquid foundation kabuki brush. Um, this is a limited edition breast cancer awareness one from IT Cosmetics. Now for concealer, I'm going in with my Born This Way concealer. This stuff is so full coverage and I've been using it nonstop lately. I'm just going to apply that in kind of the triangular shape underneath my eyes as usual. And then I'm actually going to apply this to my eyelids as a base or a primer for our eyeshadows to lay down really nicely as well. And then I'm going to highlight my forehead, my nose, my upper lip, and my chin as you normally would. I'm taking a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge just to go ahead and blend that all out and combine it into my foundation really nicely. Now I'm taking this Makeup Revolution Luxury Lace Baking Powder and I'm using a Morphe brush just to quickly set my T-zone. So concentrating this product on my chin, my nose, and my forehead. This is going to set our makeup really nicely and keep us matte all day. Now I'm going in with that sponge again and some more powder just to set my concealer and ensure it doesn't crease throughout the day. Now I'm just going in with a makeup wipe and wiping all that excess foundation off my lips to prepare them um, to go in with the MAC Prep and Prime. This is going to ensure that our lips are nice and smooth and don't look too chapped or flaky once we go in with our lip product. And I like to let this sit on my lips while I do the remainder of my makeup. Taking my Hoola bronzer from Benefit, I'm going to take this on a smaller bronzer brush from Morphe and I'm going to concentrate this on the high points of my face, um, such as my forehead, being really careful to blend this out really nicely so you don't end up with that kind of bronzer helmet and everything fades really seamlessly. I'm also going to take this on my temples and use this as a contour to kind of carve out my cheeks and give us that chiseled look. I'm using an angle brush to go ahead and contour my nose as well just to give it a little bit more of a slimming effect. Now I'm going in with my damp sponge and some setting powder and I'm just going to carve out that contour and really neaten it up underneath um, and I'm going to let that bake for the rest of my makeup application. I'm now going in with my Catrice Slimatic Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Medium and I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows. This is really nothing exciting here and I am not a pro at eyebrows so definitely don't focus on my technique. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of filling these in and giving them a little bit of a shape since they are very light to begin with. And as you can tell by my face, I am definitely not a pro at eyebrows. <laughs> To finish off my brows, I'm going to take my Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 1 and I'm just going to apply this over top where I placed that pencil to add some extra volume. Um, and this does last a really long time. It is a gel, but it does have some fiber to give you a more natural effect. 
For our eyeshadow today, I'm going into the Urban Decay Born to Run palette and I'm taking this neutral kind of taupey transition shade and I'm just going to apply this in my crease kind of messily with a It Cosmetics blending brush. Now I'm taking a more peachy toned transition shade and I'm just focusing this a little bit lower in the crease where we placed that first initial shade going from inner to outer corner using windshield wiper motions. And I'm just building this color up until I get the darkness and pigmentation that I want. Taking this kind of pumpkin orange shade, I'm just going to continue building the crease with windshield wiper motions and really building up that color so we get that nice orange transition that we're looking for. Going into this beautiful coppery sparkly orange color, I'm just going to pop that directly onto the lid. And this shade is so pigmented, I didn't even use any Fix Plus or anything. It's so sparkly. It's definitely one of my favorite colors in the palette. And I'm just kind of blending that into the crease. Taking this really pretty chocolate brown shade, I'm going to take that on a really small defined blending brush and just deepen up everything so we have a nice smoky eye. Taking this Urban Decay Eye Pencil in the shade Whiskey, I'm just going to put this in my waterline and tight line with this as well. And I'm going to smudge and set that eyeliner with this maroon brown shade from the palette. Um, this is just going to give us a nice smoky effect and ensure that our eyeliner does not budge throughout the day. Taking this sparkly maroon shade, I'm then going to smoke out the color I just laid down on top of that eyeliner just to blend everything seamlessly. Now taking some Fix Plus and a pencil brush, I'm going to go into this really pretty gold shade. Um, it's a little bit of a lighter gold and I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight, just really concentrating that in the inner tear duct. I'm also going to add this gold shade on the top of my eyelid, just patting it in to add some dimension. Now taking a Smashbox felt tip liquid eyeliner, you can use literally any liquid eyeliner to do this. I'm just lining my lash line very, very close to my lashes. I'm keeping this line as thin as possible. This is just going to help us hide our false eyelash glands and add a little bit more volume to our lashes. Now taking my Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit, I'm just quickly coating my top lashes and I'm doing about two or three coats on my bottom lashes to make them really spiky. For falsies, I will be going in with these Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos. Now I'm just taking a really fluffy powder brush and just roughing away that bake and kind of pulling it onto my neck to set everything one last time. Now taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills blush, um, I'm using a peachy shade and I'm going to just put this on the apples of my cheek pulling backward to keep that chiseled shape. Now taking this duo fiber brush I'm just going to blend everything together seamlessly. I'm taking this iconic London setting spray. It has a bunch of shimmer in it which is going to give us a really really pretty glow. For highlighter, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter and I'm just going to place this on the high points of my cheekbone, blending it in with my blush. And I'm also going to place this on my Cupid's bow as well as highlight the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose, kind of making an exclamation point. That's a trick I like to use. Now for lips, I couldn't find the exact color I wanted to use, so I'm actually taking this eyeliner from Urban Decay in the shade Torch, and I'm going to be using it as a lip liner just to fill in my lines, and I'm overdrawing them slightly just to give us more volume and a better shape. For my actual lip color, I'm going to be going in with the Desi Katie Joseph Colors Friendcation Collab in the shade Aftermath. This is such a pretty orangey nude. It's perfect for fall. I love the formula. And then I'm actually going to take this Jouer Lip Topper in the shade Skinny Dip, which is a gold shimmery gloss. And I'm just going to top that in the center to make my lips look more plump. Last but not least, I'm going to set everything in place with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just to make sure that nothing moves throughout the day and it lasts all day long. All right guys, so that's going to conclude the look. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again so much for watching. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. And don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you get notified every time I upload, which is typically when it's a good week, every Monday and Wednesday. So be on the lookout for new videos from me. Um, and as always, if you have any special requests, leave them down in the comments below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.